Initial inspiration for research started when I was at Cornell as an undergraduate. I had a professor who, in the anthropology department who did research in the Caribbean, and I took a course with her. I really got interested in Guyana because people told me not many people had done research in Guyana. So based on sort of that naive sort of, you know, no one's done it, let me see what's there, I decided to go to Guyana. It was in 2006, they had a disastrous flood in 2005, um, sort of a lot of similarities to what we saw in Katrina and then led me to thinking about this broader question of what does it mean to think about climate adaptation, not just from a national perspective, but from a regional perspective. Originally, I did research related to engineers um, adapting infrastructures for dams, sea defenses, and I took that experience to then think about a more a broader question about what it means to take data related to doing those kinds of infrastructure projects and how it is that different nation states within the Caribbean region exchange that data in order to build up better resources and management for adaptation projects. IAS's mission is really important to me, if only because as an anthropologist, it's really important to not just take into account what we call ethnographic methods, which means being in the field and observing people, but also doing historical work. Being at IAS with other scholars is really helpful um, in order to try to you know, hone and get to understand what it means to do that kind of interdisciplinary research. My advice to future anthropologists is to keep asking questions even if no one's listening.